Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Today, we are going to have some fun and stress test a bunch of the most popular terminals out there. Why did I have to catch my breath there? Oh my God, I'm getting old. So we're going to have a look at Alacrity, Terminator, Ghosty, Kitty, Westrim, and Warp. So as you know, I've been on Arch and I've been loving it with Omarchi. And that comes pre-installed with Alacrity. And just from trying a bunch of these out already, Alacrity felt the best for me. Uh, but let's actually compare startup times let's look at cpu usage memory usage actual like rendering speed when you're scrolling and what features that they provide so let's start off with the startup time i'm going to be using the gnome like built-in terminal here and there's a really cool tool and that you can use which is called hyperfine that allows you to essentially spin up the same thing multiple times now startup time might not be important for some people but i run and also like to code on an old macbook pro and you can really feel the difference there. So let's start with, let's do ghosty. Here we go, let's run this. As you can see, it spins up multiple instances and instantly closes them. It looks like it averages around 320 milliseconds with the minimum being 308, maximum 336. So that feels about right. I'm curious about alacrity as that felt always super fast for me. Uh, there we go, alacrity. Okay, look at that. So that is much lower uh, at around the average of 197 with the minimum at 170 and max at 248. So that's pretty impressive. Let's do Terminator. Okay, so this is kind of in between the two uh, at around 256. Let's also try out Western. Western felt really quick when I was using it. Uh, wow, so it's actually around 56 and 74. Jesus. Numbers, how do they work? Kitty is the next one. Okay, so this is kind of in between as well at around 250. So it looks like the fastest is actually Westrum and second in coming close is Alacrity. Uh, pretty good. Now there's one more on this list that you might have noticed, Warp. And when I was trying this out, it just wouldn't work. And then I opened it and then I realized what kind of terminal asks you to create an account? You are not making this test. I'm feeling very strongly about this. I'm sorry, but your terminal should not require you to create an account. Oh, Ed, but it has AI features. I don't care. This is not good. You are getting rated right now early on in the game. You're going in the D tier. Okay, next up, let's look at CPU and memory usage. Now, from my experience, just trying this out really quickly, um, this it's not really worth benchmarking CPU usage. I tried all of them out and they barely pass 0.1%. So I wouldn't really worry about that. It's more the memory usage that's quite important. So let's, let's start this off with Alacrity. So we'll pull this up. I'll have it opened because we can run this command uh, PIDOF and then we can say Alacrity. And that's going to give me this ID here that I can copy. So let's get this. And then we can run this other command where we pass in the ID here. So PSOPID. And if we run this, we should be able to get... Oh, we need to change this. 07797 and run this. And that's the memory usage that we get. So it's pretty heavy. It looks like it's around 230... Uh, megabytes. Uh, so that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty crazy. I don't have any other terminals running in the background, like Alacrity instances, because if I close this and I rerun this, as you can see, I get nothing. So that instance alone looks like it consumes around 230 megabytes. Never mind, Ghosty consumes even more. It's around 300. Uh, 40 megabytes of RAM. Okay, I did not expect that. Let's try Kitty as well. 882. Four, six. Run this. So this is, aligns more with electricity around 250 megabytes. Terminator seems to be coming in quite low at around 89 megabytes. So that's pretty good. Now just to note on Westrim, it's been quite annoying to get this up and running in Wayland. It actually doesn't work. As you can see, it keeps throwing different errors. So I had to force it in X11 mode. And so I actually have to open it here and run it like that. 
but yeah, anyway, if we run this as well, Westrom actually fares up really nicely at around uh, 90. I think I have two instances running now. I'm not sure, but it looks like it's about 80 to 90. Okay, for the next test, I just want to check out the rendering speed. So I essentially created this 20 megabyte file here, big file text. Uh, and it contains a million lines of text in it. And I just want to see if I cat it out, uh, how fast it actually is. So we're going to take it one by one here. Let's try Alacrity first. So I'm going to pop open Alacrity. I'm just going to run Hyperfine on it like this and just cat out the result and see how long this takes. There we go. Well, that's pretty quick. Damn, that's 2.5 milliseconds on average. I'm not really caring too much about min max here. 4.6 is the max, um, but 2.5, pretty good. Uh, let's see, next up, let's try out Terminator. Again, we'll just look at the average here. Uh, so the average is around four here. Wow, so this one was a bit slower. There we go, Ghosty coming in pretty much the same as Alacrity at 2.5, so that's pretty good. And Kitty, again, 2.5. Wow, so only Terminator so far. And again, Westerm is just not working properly, even with the resizing or anything. But I'll try the squid for you and see the result, okay? Let me move in closer. Okay, so it's averaging around 2.5 as well. Okay, so looks like only Terminator was the, the slow one here. Everyone else pretty much was neck and neck. Let's see if scrolling feels any sluggish in all of these. So uh, I have my big file here. Again, I'll just run it. And I just want to see if I scroll down and up, it feel, feels right. So there we go, uh, scrolling down quickly. This is a million lines long. If I do B, nothing nothing noticeable at all. G, end of the line. Yeah, feels perfectly fine. Let's try it in Terminator as well. Just doing this test makes me feel like <laughs> this doesn't even matter too much. It looks like as long as you have a decent machine, uh, there's not much of a difference between any of these. So that feels perfectly fine too. I'll try Ghosty as well. Uh, but I don't think it matters too much. It looks about right. Yeah, it, it feels fine with all of these, honestly. Let's try a Kitty as well, just quickly for fun here. I'll put the lines here. Yeah, they all feel just about the same, just as quick. I notice actually zero difference. So. I also tried to test out the true color and the transparency of all of these. So we have Alacrity here, Ghosty here, uh, Terminator, and then uh, Kitty. Uh, Western was just bugging out. It wasn't even working. But honestly, I'm like trying to squint at these and I'm just like trying to find differences with these bloody terminals and I'm just not finding any. The colors look all the same to me. They're all gray. I'm joking, that's a colorblind joke. Honestly, the only thing I can find that really makes a difference is the features. So for Alacrity here, you should know that you don't have tabs and splits. So if you like to have like new tabs, uh, you know, and stuff like that, you'd have to use something like Tmux. Uh, so if that's a downside, then you're not gonna like Alacrity as much. The big pro is that it's GPU accelerated. So that's a really important one, right? You don't want to overload your CPU. And the config, the way you config stuff is through YAML. Now, Kitty kind of has a good balance because you get the GPU accelerations, but you also have tabs. So if I do Control Shift T, as you can see, I get new tabs there at the bottom. So I can just make a bunch and switch between them. Uh, and this uses config as the way to configure your files. Now with Ghosty, I really like the UI. You have GPU acceleration here, and if you like to do stuff in uh, Envim, uh, then you're happy to hear that this uses Lua to configure the file. So I really like that about Ghosty. And I really like how the tabs you have here as well. So it has tabs, as you can see, they're placed at the top. And look how nice the UI is. And even like copying text, I really like because you get these nice little pop-ups as well. Uh, so for sure, for me, this has the nicest UI so far. Terminator has tabs, but it doesn't have GPU acceleration. So that's a big downside for me. So I think I'm ready to rate two more of these right now. Westrim, I'm going to be putting it in the C tier, not because it's not good. I'm putting it here just because it doesn't work with Wayland. And that's a big no for me. But it's pretty fast from the tests. 
Uh, so it deserves to be here at least. Uh, Terminator, I'm going to put it at the B tier list here just because of no GPU acceleration. And honestly, all these three seem pretty much S tier. I mean, I, I don't really have any complaints. They all worked really well. So you all go to the top. Congratulations. So if I pick a terminal, it would be out of one of these three here. But I'm sticking, looks like Omar Chi and DHH picked the right one. Uh, clearly, they know what they're doing and they went with Alacrity and I'm going to be sticking with that as well. So hope you had fun. This is just a little stupid test here, but uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.